Hi, and welcome to EduSlam, where we interview some of the most innovative educators from across the globe. Today, I'm very excited. We have a really special guest on. Uh, I'm going to let Holly introduce her. My name is Tanya Averitt from Montreal. Holly? I'm Holly from San Diego, and Alice, tell us your EduSlam and about yourself. Oh, I'm Alice Keeler. I'm a GCT. I'm a super nerd, and I'm good at more than just spreadsheets, but I do love the spreadsheet. So my EduSlam is how to take information in one spreadsheet and put in the other. I know you're thinking, why would I want to do that? Well, totally you do because you have information you don't want to share, but you also have information you do want to share. And if they're in the same spreadsheet, then this is about to get awesome. So let me do a little screen sharing here. Um, yep. Okay, so are you able to see my presentation? Um, it's coming up. Yep. Okay. All right, do it, do it, it's like slow. Okay, so import range, it's just not going to go, go! Okay, import range, you put in a separate spreadsheet, you put equals import range, parenthesis, quotation mark, and then you got to get this wacky key out of um, the URL of the home spreadsheet, and end the quotations, comma, and then you got to put the range, with the name of the tab that you want to share into the new spreadsheet. Go! Okay, so why import range? You want to bring one spreadsheet into another spreadsheet. My favorite example is doing, I have a, a list of learning objectives that I want all the other students to see, but I want them to have it as their own. So if they import in my list of learning objectives, then they can edit and manipulate the sheet, but always have it updated. So what you do is I'm oh, sorry, I have one more slide here about this. And this works even if the home spreadsheet is private. So that's a big deal, right? I collect information on a Google form, and it might have names and phone numbers and student ID numbers and things that are private, and I don't want the world to see it. But I want the students to be able to see some data or fellow teachers that I'm working with. So even if that spreadsheet is private, the destination spreadsheet can still be shared. So here's step one. you got to create a new spreadsheet. Step two... Come on. Step two, you want to make the spreadsheet visible, the new spreadsheet visible to who needs to see the information. So that's either um, the share button where you type in their email address or you just make it publicly visible. I'm going to need an extra minute just because of the lag. Yeah. And step three, um, I would recommend you name the tab that you want to share like a single word because it's easier. You don't have to. Now step four, on the homes, on the original spreadsheet, uh, you need this wacky key. So you notice in the URL it says key equals, and this is oh, yeah. a long sequence of random numbers and letters that stops at the pound GID. So you need to copy that crazy code. Okay, and then in the new spreadsheet, that's where you're going to type the equals import range um, using that crazy key. So what you'll see here is I've got this spreadsheet of sample suspension data. Come here. Do it. Go to that tab. Go. Oh. Okay. And so, like, obviously, I can't share who's being suspended. That would be messed up. So I created a pivot table that summarizes the information on this tab that I named pivot. Come on. Okay. So you'll see it just shows me for every one of the high schools how many kids by ethnicity were being suspended. So that the, the it's called pivot. And I've come up here to the URL, and I copy that crazy code, just the code, not the whole URL. And then I go to my destination spreadsheet. Let me zoom in here. Do it. So it's thinking about it. It wants to do this for me. Okay, so all I have to do is I type equals import range parenthesis. And then I do a quotation mark. Yeah. And I paste that ugly key, quotation mark. You notice I did this in a random cell. Yeah. Comma, quotation mark. Now remember the name of my tab was pivot. Okay. And then I need an exclamation mark. And then I'm going to put my range. So I want to go from A to colon. I don't know, I'm going to go from A to E, okay, just for fun. 
and then I do a quotation. I could do like A2 to E5, and then I'm going to end the parentheses, and I push enter, and then what it's doing is it's going to that other spreadsheet, and it's sucking that information in. Now, when the other spreadsheet updates, then my new spreadsheet has current information. Slam. Okay, it will be as soon as it, like, loads. No way. It's pretty cool. I you would not even <laughs> have an idea. Do it. This is crazy. Okay, hold on. I can think about it. it wants it's to working. Do it. It's working. So, Alice, I'm going to ask you what I asked you before. How there do you know is. how Woo! to do it? Woo! Slam! No way. So, but what's really cool is that pivot table, every time someone submits a new suspension, right, that pivot table where it counts up how many kids were suspended by ethnicity by school, it updates. Then in the new spreadsheet, it reflects that. Wow. Alice, I want to ask you this because I like how you said it. How do you know how to do this stuff? I push all the buttons. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and thanks, and uh, we will see you again soon, I'm sure, on the show.